Today, we're making two different mead recipes with lemon blossom honey. Let's get started. So today we are using lemon blossom honey to make some really fun mead recipes. I'm making a traditional mead recipe and a hopped mead recipe. The traditional is gonna be about 9.8% ABV and the hopped mead is gonna be about 5.9% ABV. Lemon blossom honey comes from the bees after they pollinate on the blossoms of Mediterranean lemon trees. It's quite an interesting honey that features some bright and intense fruity notes. According to one source, this honey has a calming effect and is very helpful in the case of insomnia or nervousness. I don't know if this is true, but it's an interesting statement. We got this honey from Sean Harris, who is a prominent beekeeper in Hawaii. I will add his email below if you'd like to order some honey from him. We got our honey and everything for our two recipes so we could begin the process. The traditional is pretty easy and has a pretty simple recipe, so let's start there. Here is the recipe for the Lemon Blossom Traditional Mead, eight pounds of lemon blossom honey, five grams of Sap LUS05, which is notably used in beer, but I've had great results in mead. Water up to four gallons, 10 grams of Fermate O. We stabilized it after the primary. We then added one ounce of rum oak chips for two weeks and 1.5 pounds of lemon blossom honey to back sweeten. The original gravity was about 1.075 after the primary 1.000 and after back sweetening about 1.018. So now let's make this brew. We started by sanitizing all of our equipment with star sand and then began mixing our honey and water up. We then front loaded our brew with Fermade O and added our yeast. We put a waterless airlock on top and let it start fermenting. About three weeks later, we saw that it was done fermenting we took a gravity reading and noticed that it landed at 1.000, which confirmed that it was done. We then decided to rack it into a new container and stabilize it so we could safely back sweeten this brew. We stabilized with potassium sorbate and metabisulfite. If you don't want to use those, you can pasteurize your brew. That's always a good choice too. We then added 1.5 pounds of lemon blossom honey to back sweeten, and then we decided to add some oak character. I liked the idea of oaking this brew and really using rum oak because of the characters that would provide. So we added one ounce of rum oak and we let that set for two weeks. We then racked that into a new container. I used Kisasol and Chitto sand to clear this brew pretty quickly. You can use thyme or other clearing agents, but I've had good results with these. After it was clear, we went ahead and bottled it. And that was that. The hopped mead was a little bit of a different process. This one is far more light and crisp. I wanted to use two hops that I felt like would add some fun characters to this to complement the lemon blossom honey. I chose Montuka hops to be my main bittering hops. This means that we boiled those hops and Cascade hops to be the dry hop side, which gets more aromatic character from them. The Montuka hops boast a tropical fruit, lemon, lime, and citrus character and the Cascade Hops boast a citrus, grapefruit, floral, and spice character. Here's the recipe for the hopped version. We have seven pounds of lemon blossom honey, one ounce of Montuka hops that we boiled for 20 minutes, one ounce of Cascade Hops that were the dry hopped part, water up to five gallons, eight grams of Fermato. We stabilized it after that primary. We back sweetened with two pounds of lemon blossom honey and one teaspoon of citric acid to help it pop. The original gravity was 1.045, and after the primary, it was 1.000. So I'll be honest with you, I forgot to record all of the hopped mead creation, so I will describe it to you and maybe find some clips to uh, show you what it looks like. We started by putting five gallons of water into a pot, bringing that to a boil. We then added one ounce of Montuka hops into a hop spider and boiled them for 20 minutes. We just wanted a little bittering of these hops and a little bit of that aromatic character, maybe. Once it had cooled a little, we added our honey to that somewhat hot water and mixed it in. We moved the whole thing into a new container and let it set till it was room temp. We then added our yeast and Fermate O and let it ferment. This brew took about two weeks to completely ferment out. We added our dry hops and some cheesecloth, then put that in the brew for about three days. We then moved that whole thing into a keg, stabilized it, and we added more lemon blossom honey to back sweeten. I noticed it needed a little more of a pop, so we added some citric acid to really help that. We then force carbonated it, and we're done. So now that we've seen, or kind of seen, the creation of these two meads, let's go to the tasting.
All right, here we are for the tasting of these two meads. Uh, you just saw the creation of them. So we're gonna start with the traditional, which kind of looks like this. It looks pretty dang clear. Uh, I think it looks good. What, it, what do you get off the nose? Um, I don't know. It's very honey forward. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just a lemon blossom honey. There's nothing else. Lemon there. blossom honey, and I mean, it's oaked. So oh, it's okay. got some oak character. It should be present. But there's no lemon in it specifically. No, it's, it's like the pollination side. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Anything I kept, else? I kept thinking I was gonna smell lemon. <laughs> no, but it does so, have a citrus. citrus it does side. have a yes, it does. But I kept thinking I was gonna just smell like mm -mm. straight up lemon. So I agree. It does have like a lighter citrusy, more floral like. Yeah, which I kind of like. Mm-hmm. All right, let's taste it. Okay. What do you think? It's really good. It is really. I don't know. It's. It's incredible what just the honey will do as far as I like flavor. Say, I mean, it's it got actually like, so it's actually so mind boggling because it actually I want to sit here and be like I taste lemon, but I uh -huh. know I don't. It's like a, there's like a, a zestiness I, or yeah, something. Yeah, there, there is exactly. I'm. It's definitely not warm like uh, some of the other types, like a wildflower or like a right clover. But yeah, it definitely has like a. It's not a straight up lemon flavor, yeah. but definitely has some kind of. So I zest. used interestingly enough, I used um, rum oak in this so it's got some um maybe some of that character to it which i feel mm -hmm. like it's kind of darker so it provides there's like bright citrusy zesty but then there's like a a rum oaky -ness. back on the back yeah. side mm -hmm. but there's also like in that oak has some vanilla and stuff mm -hmm. in it too i kind of like it it's I, little, I really like this i think this is a um, really good and yeah. this honey is like the thing is it's honey forward but it's still got some character mm -hmm. no, it's got a lot of depth like top to bottom uh-huh because I think a lot of times you get the bottom, like, I, I mean bottom by, like, the warmth, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I think it has, like, a lot of top, where mm -hmm. I think a lot of the other things miss the top. One thing, though, I, I like to talk about a lot is, um, I feel like you're, uh, a good wine has layers. Yeah. You know, you, you taste oh, through it and you get, has layers. you get, like, this thing, and then this thing, and then this thing, and then the finish is this way, and, yeah. like, I feel like no, this has a lot of character. That's definitely it. Uh-huh. That's why it took me a while, a minute, to, like... Mm -hmm think about it because i'm like i don't know it keeps going <laughs> it's i really like that i think yeah. this might be one of my favorite traditionals i've made and what's crazy so too it's 10 percent. doesn't taste like 10 mm -mm. percent, honestly mm -mm. um and it's pretty young it's made in august so which it's like four months ago this is might be just me being done so if it's 10 percent, is it or is it not so that would be a category of like well, fruits and stuff like that you're talking about strengths so there's hydromel which is up That's to like eight percent okay. eight to 14 i think that realm is standard and then mm -hmm. 14 and above is um, sac strength so this is considered like standard the standard strength, strength. yeah okay if you were going to go by the bjcp which is the the governing body of, of <laughs> information that we use. I meant hydromel, not melamel. Yeah. I misspoke, but but yeah, like, but it, it tastes like but it is it light. Does, it's light like yeah. a hydromel. Uh huh. It's a little bit dangerous. I will say. I know. <laughs> That's always what happens. This is what happened on your other one too that let's, I also thought was lighter than it was. Well, this is, let's get to the actual light one. This is a hopped uh, version of it. Oh. Um, okay. And so this used a couple different kind of hops. Oh, I could get into it, but you won't care. We won't care about <laughs> is what you, what it tastes like. So. You won't get anything on the nose. It's cold. He knows carbonated. I know enough, but enough enough to also just want to taste <laughs> You're it. You're like cool, <laughs> but that's I, awesome. It tastes good. <laughs> yeah. So you won't get anything on the nose. Um, I won't cold. get anything on the nose. No, because it's cold and carbonated, and so you might you could try really hard, but you're gonna have a hard time. It's just you're gonna right. be cold. I just, it just smells cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's taste it. Okay. Much lighter, five percent. What do you think of this? I like it. It's really confusing my palate a little bit because I really so badly want it to be like in like an IPA. Oh Does that make yeah, sense? like even more hoppy than that. Yeah, like I, it's yeah. very hoppy forward. You want more bitterness. You want the, maybe that's that side. what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. It's definitely light it's definitely on the bittery side. Yeah, because it's like sweet, which I know is not the same thing. But like, I don't know. It's like kind of tr it's tricking my mouth a little bit. Yeah. In no, a good and, way. and I kind of leaned heavier into the the hopped, made it more of an IPA. I decided not to, because I kind of like the light bittering, mm -hmm. still pronouncing honey as a predominant mm -hmm. character, and then the the specific hops I used played into a lot of um, other characters, other things that are happening here. It kind of reminds me, in some ways, of like the everything rhymes with orange. Mm. 
Yeah, that one does have a little bit of sweetness behind it. It has pretty hoppy and some sweetness in with it. With that uh, zestiness. Because yeah. you get the same profile yeah. from like zestiness of the yeah. traditional. Yeah, that's where, like, why, maybe that's why I drink so much of that one. And maybe that's <laughs> yeah. why this is, um, why I'm drinking this one and thinking like, this tastes different than what I mm -hmm. expect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's so similar in a lot of ways. This one's extremely crushable, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I could, and it's 5%, mm -hmm. so you could have a bunch more than you could this, you know, twice as much. I don't know, I feel like the other one's pretty crushable it is. too. Oh, I mean, it is, but I'm saying that if you're talking quantities. Dangerous, dangerously quantities you crushable yeah. versus actually crushable. Right. I think this they both turned really out. This is really good. Now, I, I definitely plan on making, obviously, more of both of them, but I, this is. I feel like this would be a really good summer mm -hmm. time. Like, I'd be curious to try this again. You said that you finishes in August. No, this one's um, even younger. This one's maybe two months old at max. Hmm. So well, the nice thing about this recipe, hopped one, is it's quick. It's mm -hmm. a month and a half turnaround maybe, mm -hmm. and uh, it can be done. This is a little longer. Being a traditional, it could be better in, I don't know, whatever, six months from now, it could be even better than it is. But I think they're both really good. I really do too. Although I think, I know you probably like the hopped one, but well, which one would you say you like better? Um, they're pretty dang close, but I would say I'm thinking of uh, the one I re will return to the most is the hopped one because See, I have more of it for one. That's but, funny. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cut in and say something. Just a fun fact about this hopped mead. It actually went to a competition recently, specifically the Midwinter Homebrew Competition, and won Best of Show for the mead category. And specifically in the specialty kind of category, it won first place or gold. So it is a very good recipe. I think one of the biggest things about it is the lemon blossom honey is super high quality. Obviously you can get a lot of great flavors out of that. If you wanna make it with lemon side without the lemon blossom, you could go ahead and zest some lemons. You could add some lemon juice. There's a point where you can play around with that. But that brew, the hopped one specifically, was pretty dang good. And some judges even confirmed that for me. Well, you uh, you heard it here. I mean, these are pretty, I would say they're pretty good recipes. And um, part of this is going into balancing. I've talked about that before in other videos, but balancing your brew with um, your sweetness and acid and tannin. So your oak and your honey character and then just everything else. Uh, if you want to get this honey, there is a email below. You have to email him. His name is Sean Harris. You can actually email him to or, uh, order through him. He always has a bunch of different kinds of honey. Maybe lemon blossom at this time, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping me with the tasting. Sure, I'm always happy to taste. Didn't, I didn't force her to, totally. Did not force her mm -mm. to. Nope, sure did. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, see you guys next time and go make some mead. Cheers. Mm -hmm.